For those that believe that Spot had just fallen off the map and decided not to answer the remaining questions of On the Spot, fear not, the proof is in the pudding, as what you see right here is us resuming with those questions. So, let's resume where we left off. If we, well, if you tuned in last time, the last answer segment, the last question came to us from the MMM Voice 1988, which was his thoughts, he says, what are your thoughts, actually, on Injustice Gods Among Us? Next question comes to us from Steve0995 OTS. Why do you not show your face? I have no face, actually. It's just a void. You know the nothing from Never Ending Story? That's my face. It's just the nothing. A rock creature is about to eat his rock, and he, go, he looks at me and says, Oh no, the nothing. That's my face. Thanks for your question. Next question comes to us from Frodo Baggins. OTS, can you show us your face? Ask uh, Steve0995. He'll give you the answer. Next question comes to us from the Joker Lover94 OTS. Do you like slash read the Goon comics? He's my favorite character, and I'd love to see you review those figures. You're the best spot. Well, thank you very much, Joker Lover94. I uh, I have actually never read the Goon comics. Never. I think of the same, I want to say it's from the same comic company I had. I used to read Grendel, Grendel, but I never read The Goon. If The Goon's not part of that same comic company, I'm sorry, but never never read The Goon. If I ever did, though, I definitely would maybe consider picking up the figures. I don't actually have those figures either, so. Um, next question comes to us from Jman9000. OTS, what's your favorite types of, I thought that I almost said, what's your favorite types of blood? I'm actually A negative, just throwing it out there. I think I could sell my blood for money, but uh, what's your favorite types of food? Chinese, Italian, Mexican? I actually really like Mexican food. Now, I mean, granted, I could say, you know, I like Taco Bell. That by far, no, no stretch of the imagination could that be perceived as real Mexican food. I mean, that would be the same as saying I'm going to McDonald's for a burger. You know, it, it's, it's very far from the truth. Um, I also really like Chinese food, again, when I say Chinese food, I love going to Chinese restaurants, but again, you know, a lot of that is Americanized, Canadianized food. It's not true Chinese food, but I mean, that's, I'm always down with that kind of stuff. Um, I love a good steak. I mean, I love, I love a good steak. I mean, I'm, I'm British. I have a British background. So when I was younger, the majority of what we ate for Sundays and stuff was always like your roast beefs, mashed potatoes, gravy, Yorkshire puddings you know, several different vegetables. We might have like maybe mint sauce to go on. That was, that was Sundays for me. I also like really good stew. I like British things, like really rustic fish and chips, stews, you know, like the real hearty, not best for your weight, mind you, but that was always like my favorite kind of stuff. Thank you to your question, by the way, Jman9000. Next question is from Megadeth3789. Spot suspects that he is a fan of Megadeth. Maybe. It says, OTS, if you could choose any DC or Marvel character to be your father or mother, which one would it be and why? I, For my father, I would have Juggernaut. I would have Juggernaut. I mean, you, you can only, you can imagine right away. If I was late for school, my dad would walk out and say, get on my back, son. And then he'd just like run to run to school, knocking over buses, other, he'd be smashing through buildings. I'd have to wear a helmet too, obviously. But uh, Juggernaut definitely would be my father. Definitely would be my father. You would not want to cross him on his bad side, but I mean, I would, yeah, Juggernaut, totally. Uh, mother? Um, Wonder Woman. I'd say Wonder Woman. Father would be Juggernaut. Mother would be Wonder Woman. I could fly to school as well or to my work if I was you know, weather was bad, get into the invisible jet, you know, gone. So hopefully, hopefully that, it's remarkable how quickly I answered that one. Thank you for your question, Mr. Megadeth3789. Next question comes to us from Mr. Taco Fart 85 OTS, can you not show your face? Moving along. Next question comes to us from Salvador Los Angeles OTS, are you a master of hand puppetry? Absolutely not. I have no concept or any skill whatsoever when it comes to hand puppetry. If I had any idea how to puppet or be a master of puppetry, 
by all means, that kind of stuff would be incorporated into my videos. Any position, any place that I can put it in there, I would definitely do that. By the way, by the way, I always find it funny watching, I shouldn't say some reviewers, but there, when some people get on camera and they don't really know what they're doing with their hands and they're like, and they feel like they have to actually tell the story with their hands. I always get, I always get a kick out of that. So I went to the, I went to the store. You did. I went to the store and I picked up this and I'm going to be looking at this. This is what I'm going to be looking at right here, right here, right here. Here's the package. It's a very nice package. I, I don't know if I would be a master of puppetry. I hope you've enjoyed that little skit that I did. I'm not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not nitpicking anybody's sensing of reviewing. I mean, I'm just, I just say something like that because I enjoy that. I get a kick out of that. There you go. Next question comes to us from Winky Wallace, OTS. Is it true that you're a reincarnation of Jack Kirby? No, actually, that's a, that's false. Um, that story leaked a while ago, along with the fact that Khan was the main villain in Star Trek II. Apparently, that's been debunked. Me being Jack Kirby has also has been debunked. I don't know where that rumor came from. Certainly, if I was Jack Kirby, I probably would be doing a little bit more career-wise than what I am than what I'm doing right now. Not that I, I certainly love answering questions that you guys have given me, and by all means, any time I get a chance to do a review, and any chance I get to do on the spots, by all means, I'm always down for doing something like that. <laughs> oh, spot, you're ridiculous. Next question comes to us from Zombie Maniac 4217 OTS. What is your favorite movie or game line that NECA are making figures of at the moment? Also, hope NECA are going to be releasing a Friday 13th Part 5 Roy soon. Absolutely, to your last statement. Seeing that we're, what the, we're getting with it and seeing what they've done so far with the Nightmare on Elm Street figures, how we've gotten so many versions of Freddy, and I love it. I'm hoping we're going to get a Part 5 Roy. I'm really also hoping... i got to be careful I'm not moving my hands too much. I also really am holding out for... I'm not I'm holding out because I'm going to get them anyways, but really holding out for a Jason Takes Manhattan figure. Just because I know that Jason would be so distinctly different along with the new Blood Jason. really like that yellow hockey mask. Kind of that wet outfit. He's got, I, I always think that's a neat outfit. Not a great movie, but yeah. Uh, moving back though, what is your favorite movie or game line that NECA are currently making figures of at the moment? You know, actually, I'm just going to reiterate what I just finished saying. I probably would say Friday the 13th. I think Friday the 13th so far is one. The fact, and also the good thing about Friday the 13th figures is the fact that they've incorporated as much articulation as they have in those figures. If you remember, if that figure had come out, those figures had come out, even like four years ago, those would be pretty much staction figures with moving arms, probably a bend in the elbow or swivel in the elbow. But now you look at some of the stuff that we've gotten now, it's almost a shame that they've gone as far as they have with the Friday, the Nightmare on Elm Street figures that we can't get an articulated Freddy. It's unlikely that they're, they're going to now just change up the game and give us something different for a Freddy figure. They're probably going to keep those lower pants now, but I would have loved to see a articulated Freddy, but oh well. Um, next question comes to us from for F-E-R-T-I-G-R-3. Your guess is as good as mine. OTS, what are your thoughts regarding Magic the Gathering? I've never played, actually, never played. I had a friend that actually wanted me to get into Magic the Gathering, and I just never did. I just could not get into it. I don't know what it was. It just it didn't appeal to me. Not that there's anything wrong with it, by no stretch of the imagination. Spot's not saying that Magic the Gathering is bad. I just, it's not something I've ever played. Next question comes to us from Booger Presley 04. OTS, what is your favorite figure in your collection? You can, can you, you can do a top five or whatever. Um, I kind of used to, I know if you follow this channel a long time ago, many, many moons ago when we had the option to do it, I used to have a, uh, I used to have a Hall of Fame, and I always put my favorite figures there. I think my favorite figures, top five, would be, and no particular order, um, would be the McFarlane Toys Spawn Classics, I think Series 20 Violator. Love that figure, even though he's limited in articulation. I love the, the look of that figure. If McFarlane could ever do a super articulated Violator, I would definitely get that. Uh, DC Superheroes Clayface, which I've already mentioned um, before. Um, I would say DC Universe Wave 10 Joker. 
Um, let's not obviously forget the legendary comic book heroes build a figure pit. That's definitely right up there. And I would probably say, mm, I really like Combat Gizmo from the NECA line. I would also almost say the Terror Dogs from the Ghostbusters line that NECA did a while back. Those are really neat figures to look at just as a, as a, as a display piece. Or I would also say the Spring-Loaded Holster Robocop is also a very solid, solid figure. So I would say those are maybe not top five, but certainly some of my favorite figures. Um, next question comes to us from Matt Kellett, OTS, why no WWE? We want more WWE, WWE. Well, I have done some reviews. Um, I find the only hard part with getting wrestling figures is the fact that they, by the time you get the figure, the wrestler has already changed his look in the ring. And, you know, of course... You could get like a hundred John Cena's and CM Punk's and stuff and just have them all over the shelf. Grimm's Toy, Grimm's Toy always does uh, toy reviews. And he, I mean, his shelves are just packed with wrestling figures. They're awesome. But I don't know if I could have that many wrestling figures. That's, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Um, legend figures, I'm probably more likely to pick up because it's just iconic of the way that they look. Like the Mankind figure, the Rock figure, stuff like that, I would definitely pick up. And uh, certainly more of those reviews are on the way. So more WWE figures are coming. I don't know if I would necessarily get entire lines, but definitely more on the way. Next question comes to us from the Marv MAD, the Marv Mad. OTS, knowing you're a horror movie buff, what was the first horror movie you made it all the way through when you were young? Mine was Halloween. Funny enough story, actually a little small stories here. Um, I think the first movie that I that was suggested to me that I watched was Halloween 4. I was in, I was on a field trip, I think in grade four, maybe grade three, and in the hotel where we were staying, they had uh, pay TV, and I think at the moment they had Halloween 4. And my two friends said, hey, let's totally watch Halloween 4. Gotta admit, this guy was a little bit scared, so I said, uh, why don't we watch this instead? And I totally talked them out of it. I think the first full horror movie I actually sat through was probably now this is funny the the first one actually the first one I actually sat through was um I want to say Wes Craven's New Nightmare. I know that's a long time ago and actually that's not that old of a movie but it wasn't until really high school that I really started getting into horror movies. First movie I watched was New Nightmare. And I liked it. Of course, now going back on it and having seen all the other nightmares, it's my least favorite. Um, and actually, the other one I watched was the director's cut of Jason Goes to Hell. So it's funny that I watched Jason Goes to Hell and I don't have never seen really a horror movie. That's certainly a good way to start. Next question comes to us from uh, Mark Cantonet for. He hasn't said on the spot, but he has just said Godzilla toys. So I'm assuming he said, he's asking, will you review Godzilla toys? Um, I don't have any at the moment. If I do have any Godzilla toys, I certainly will review them. So stay tuned. Next question comes to us from James Roll. OTS, are you planning on reviewing Mogwai Series 3 in the upcoming Friday 13th Part 4 figures? If you are, have you followed? If anybody out there is following my Facebook page, you'll see that Spot has just gotten his Gremlins slash Friday the 13th slash Terminator figures. So all of those will definitely be reviewed and they will be coming out soon. Not sure when specifically, but definitely reviews will be coming. And also, as a shameless plug for this channel, really spot as a whole, if you want to know what's going on, by all means, follow me on Facebook. You can find out all the stuff that Spot has picked up and all the st stuff that Spot is about to be reviewing and all that other stuff as well. The last question in this segment comes to us from Lewis Seal OTS. What is your favorite Spider-Man character spot? I can easily answer that. My favorite Spider-Man character, aside from Spider-Man, uh, is um, I just drew his. I just drew. I literally Mysterio. Thank you. My favorite favorite character is Mysterio. I don't know why. I think it's just the fishbowl helmet, the cape. It's ridiculous. I know. But Mysterio is my favorite Spider-Man character. 
I used to like Venom, but I found Venom got really tiresome after. Uh, same idea. Venom got popular, like Deadpool got popular, like Wolverine got popular, and then he was everywhere. I used to like Venom way back in the day, but then he was just everywhere. And then, like every time there's a cartoon that comes out now of him, uh, of Spider-Man, Venom's always going to be immediately in there. And it's just like, uh, Spider-Man 3... Uh, uh. Um, so that actually wraps up this segment. Definitely stay tuned, guys. Again, Spot has not forgotten the on the spot. It is still happening. Come back. Don't forget to come back. We'll keep going with all the answers to your questions. So stick around, guys. There's more on the way.